E-Learning Jamaica Limited, in association with the Ministry of Education and Z Jamaica Limited, present a series of e-learning videos geared towards preparing students for CXC examinations. This series focuses on information technology and highlights areas considered most challenging to our students. There are 11 videos, each lasting approximately 20 minutes. Your narrator, Michael Anthony Cuff. Description. This lesson describes how to partition a problem into its components using input processing output IPO charts. Learning outcomes. After completing this lesson, the student will be able to partition a simple problem into three parts, input, processing, and output. Develop an IPO chart. So as to be able to partition a simple problem into three parts, it is important that you understand the data that needs to be supplied to solve the problem, that is, the input. What needs to be done with the input data, that is, the processing, and the expected results of the processing. This can be done with the help of an input processing output IPO chart. In this lesson, we will look at identifying the three parts of a problem and developing the IPO chart. An IPO chart identifies a program's inputs, outputs, and the processing steps required to transform the inputs into the outputs. It allows the programmer to broadly specify what is to be done without getting into too much detail. An IPO chart has three columns and two rows. The columns are, in order, Input, Processing, and Output. The first row has the column headings Input, Processing, and Output, and the subsequent rows state the data, actions to be performed, and outputs as appropriate. Inputs are usually descriptive nouns which simply provide a list of the program's inputs. Example, name, address, number. We normally get input from the keyboard or from files. The processing required is usually indicated by verbs, indicating the actions to be performed. Example, read, calculate, print. Outputs are usually nouns and refer to net outputs. By net we mean that whereas a problem may generate immediate results, these are not shown on the IPO chart. Examples of outputs are total, average. Outputs are either displayed to a screen or written to a file. When developing IPOs, we normally start with the easy stuff. Inputs then, outputs. These are usually clearly specified in the program requirements. If not, get clarification. Don't assume. Finally, fill in the processes for converting inputs to outputs. Let us now look at some examples of developing IPO charts. Example 1. A program is required to read two numbers add them together, and display their total. Step 1. Identify what inputs are needed. We need two numbers, number 1 
and number two, or other suitable names. Step two, what are the outputs, results required? In this example, the user wants to know the total of two numbers. Step three, what processing is required to get the required result? The two numbers must be input, added together, and the total displayed. Let us now develop the IPO chart. In the input column, we would put the names of the inputs, which in this example are number one and number two. In the processing column, we would indicate the processing that is to take place. In these cases, we need to input number one and number two, add the numbers together, and then display the total. In the output column, we put the name of the output, which in this case is total. You may ask the question, why are values listed in the input column, repeated in the processing column? Including something in the input column indicates that this data needs to be supplied from an external source, example, a user or a file, to solve the problem. The process or action, input number one, number two, refers to the way that the variables number one and number two are obtained. They may be input by a user using a keyboard or read from a file stored on the hard disk. Example 2. A program is required to read two numbers from a file. Add the two numbers and write the total to a file. In this example, we are reading from and writing to a file. The IPO chart would look like this. In the input column, we would put the names of the inputs, which in this case are numbers 1 and numbers 2. In the processing column, we would indicate the processing that is to take place. In this case, we have to read numbers 1 and 2 from the file numbers dot dat. Add the numbers together, then write their total to the file results dot dat. In the output column, we put the names of the output, which in this case is total. Example 3. A club requires a program to calculate the cost of membership. The cost of membership depends on the membership type. Full members, F, are charged $160 per year. Juniors, J, are charged $80 per year. And life members, L, are charged $10 per year. Assume that only valid membership types, F, K, or L, are input. In the input column, we would put the names of inputs, which in this example is membership type. In the processing column, we would indicate the processing that is to take place. In this case, we need to input membership type, determine membership cost, and display membership cost. In the output column, we put the name of the output, which in this case is membership cost. Example 4. The user is to input prices of items for sale. At the end of the day, the total of the sales made, the numbers of items sold, and the average price of items sold is to be displayed. In the input column, we would put the names of the inputs, which in this case is price. In the processing column, we would indicate the processing that is to take place. In this case, we need to input price, sum the prices, count the items, calculate the average price, and display total price, count and average. In the output column, we put the names of the output, which in this case are total price, count, and average. The problem requires repetition. This is not mentioned in the IPO chart as only the main tasks to be performed are specified, not control information such as selection and repetition. Let's review. To partition a problem into its three simple parts, it is important that you understand the data 
that needs to be supplied to solve the problem, that is, the input. What needs to be done with the input data, that is, output. And the expected results of the processing. 2. An IPO chart identifies a program's inputs, outputs, and the processing steps required to transform the inputs into the outputs. 3. Inputs are usually descriptive nouns which simply provide a list of the program's inputs, example, name, address, number. We normally get input from the keyboard or from files. Outputs are also usually nouns and refer to net outputs. By net we mean that whereas a program may generate intermediate results, these are not shown on the IPO chart. Examples of outputs are total, average. Outputs are either displayed to a screen or written to a file. Processing required is usually indicated by verbs, indicating the actions to be performed. Example, read, calculate, print. 